All right, guys, it's time for this video. I'm gonna remove all the confusion out there about lithium batteries and do it yourself. I'm gonna show you how you can build a really powerful, really sweet battery, save tons of money, but probably most importantly, build this battery in a way that you can add to it whenever you have a little bit of funds. You can build one now, then when you want to, build another one, build another one, and build out your RV solar system just super big without having to spend thousands and thousands of dollars up front. This is one of the most requested things that I got from my solar video, so let's hop in and I will show you how we do a DIY lithium battery pack. Now I thought it would be helpful is if I did a video on how we do it essentially. Knowing full well that this isn't the only way to do it, it's just a, a way that I found that I was able to save lots of money doing it and it's been a very, very powerful system, okay? Uh, this isn't a, you know, you should do it this way. This is a, I thought I would share it with you so that you know exactly what I did so that you could do it too and not have to worry about all the confusion. The, we have two sides here, and what I want to just mention is that each one of these sides is a 24 volt battery. Um, and, and so really, you could just put that aside for now. I'm gonna talk about just one battery at a time because I think this would be the best way for you to make one. And it's more along the lines of what we have out there. So when you see these two, think of those two battery packs that I have inside the camper, okay? Let me know if that makes sense. If you need any kind of clarification, drop it in the comments below because I'm gonna plan something that I'll mention at the very end of the video. Okay, so just uh, drop it below and we'll talk more later. Okay, so let me pull out one of these batteries and it's really this simple, okay? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cells right here. And so in order to build a battery like this, I recommend these cells that I bought on AliExpress, uh, which took uh, about a month and a half to two months to come, just a, a note on that, because I believe they come straight from China. But the cells were all in good shape, okay? I can't remember exactly how much they were. I will look it up and I will overlay it right here. But essentially what you do is you go to AliExpress and you can buy an X number of cells. So in my other battery pack, I bought 16 cells to build two batteries okay so if you don't have quite the amount of money that you want to spend right now what you can do is build an eight cell battery and get your system up and running so that's how we'll approach this video right here we're going to build one battery at a time okay so we have eight cells and what you do is you hook them up in series because each one of these cells are approximately 3.2 3.3 volts when you tie them all together you get a 24 volt battery so you see how i have you got one down here you got tied 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 all the way up so we have essentially our positive here and our negative here. So you have your cells, that's one thing you need. The next thing you need is a battery management system, which is this thing right up here. Let me pull up here. That's a battery management system from Overkill Solar. Uh, these are approximately $130-ish at the time of me making this video. Uh, they have it, I will put the link to the one that I bought uh, in the description below so you can go and get it. Uh, essentially this is a 24 volt 100 amp continuous current. So what does that mean? That means I can pull 100 amps from this battery at one time or I can put in 100 amps to this battery at one time. Anything over that the BMS will shut it off for safety. So the two main components of the battery is you got your cells and you have your BMS. And then in the BMS, it shows you how to wire them up. It shows you where your negative is, where all these little wires go to. And so when you're looking at this, you're probably thinking, oh man, that's, that's kind of confusing. There's a lot of wiring going on. And yeah, there's a lot of wires, but it's pretty simple. You just essentially follow the diagram to a T. And then when you plug it in, everything just kind of comes online. And basically these wires tell the BMS what the voltage of the cell is. And let me show you what that looks like. You're able to take and look and see the status of your battery. If you look here, this battery is completely dead. 23.58, you'll notice all the voltages right there. So it's reading from there. So by building it like this, you save a lot of money over just buying one on Amazon. And, but this isn't the battery that I really want you to build. I want you to build one more like the ones outside but I just wanted to show you essentially what the parts are so that you can build one yourself. So when you buy a cell, it won't be this big. It'll actually be quite a bit bigger and fatter. 
and which is in my opinion better because you get more essentially more power without getting too big of a of a box does that make sense so oh also one more thing i put a fuse in line here that goes on the negative so if there's ever a, a short on the battery side of things this fuse should cut off power to it uh, and uh, not cause fire and anything like that but you always have to be careful with these cells you never want to place something metal over these cells uh, to have a complete short that would be pretty bad because there's a lot of power in, in these battery cells okay just wanted to show you all the batteries hooked up here so we got the battery here this is from the imhq this is the one that i showed you kind of how to do the build now if you notice here these two batteries are very similar to these two batteries right here so these are all 24 volt batteries now the reason why i went with 24 volts is that i think it's probably the most versatile system that you can get there are a lot of power inverters and everything out there uh, that are 24 volts now i went with the grow watt power inverter charger and all in one the reason why is because i wanted it to be like a very simple install right really really simple clean easy uh what and and it was cheap right i think these were six seven ninety nine or so a piece uh and they were cheap for three thousand watts and they worked pretty well but one of the things that i wanted was to make sure that i had kind of the ability to grow the system or improve it if i wanted to so i could actually uh, get rid of this and get a victron in here and use it with the same batteries and i would have a pretty sweet system now the victron is like twice as much as these and i would have to buy two of them if i wanted to do my setup and one of the reasons why i said it's really cool to be able to do this modularly is because as you can see you can just add more batteries to it whenever you want so I built two initially and these are the ones that I want you to build okay so I want you to build one like this uh, and if you have the dollars to make two then you'd have a pretty sweet system right have have two of these uh, that'd be 600 amp hours at 24 volts or like other people talk usually they talk in in 12 volt terms so this would be 1200 amp hours and then so being being able to do this modularly and adding another one we have the one from the imhq since we're not taking the imhq this year we're going out to quartzite and that one's just staying here i thought i would borrow the batteries so we could be out in the desert and not have to worry about power at all so we got this all hooked up so that's a pretty sweet way to do a battery system you just kind of build one as you need to and go from there one thing that i did not mention is that the only downfall to building one battery at a time is that you're limited to how much power the bms can put out so for instance on one of these batteries here this battery, since the BMS is limited to 100 amps, that means all we can pull from this battery is 24 volts times 100 amps, which gives you 2,400 watts, okay? So if ever I was using my GrowWatt 3,000 watt machine here, if I was pulling more than 2,400 watts, from this system one battery wouldn't be able to handle at all okay so that's why i have two here and so i could pull when these are both hooked up i can pull two times 2400 which is 4800 watts okay i can pull that from this battery pack so if you do end up making one of these just know the only limitation that you'll have is that when you use the 100 amp bms which is the one that i recommend because it's simple and it works well and it, it has a cool bluetooth app and everything when you use that bms you're limited to the 100 amps i built these boxes with my favorite 3 8 plywood and you know painted it all black and everything and you can see that i put the uh, bolts right through there and so those go on the other side let me just move this for a second those go on the other side and wired right in and all that stuff and so you have the your your basic stuff that you have to do as well like making your cables and i will put links to all of the kind of cables and all of the stuff that i use and the tools that i use uh, right below this actually maybe i'll create a uh, page on our website that has all of the stuff so you can just go there and see what i what i used and uh and essentially build the whole thing i'll also put the grow watts on there as well I don't at this time have a recommendation on anything else. Uh, I think these are pretty good. And in my other video, I kind of talked about the downsides of, of these. So if you have any questions, drop them below, which will lead me to uh, when we get to Quartzite, what I thought we would do if we have time is to do a live stream and, and essentially talk about the solar. Because I think in Quartzite, I'll show you the systems running, see if it's sunny and all this stuff, how much power we're making and all that. 
And then uh, if you have any of the questions, I'll go through the questions that we might get in this video and then you can also ask questions on uh, the live stream as well. So we did a live stream from the shop. It was super fun. And a lot of the people in the live stream said, you should do one at Quartzsite. So I said, okay, let's do that. So this is something that we can talk about. And uh, so yeah, drop your question down below. If you're wondering what this is, this is actually a battery charger. And what I'm doing here is I'm balancing the batteries because I never topped balanced the battery. So if you've ever put together a lithium battery and you did not top balance it, I'm going to create a video on how you can easily top balance a battery after the fact. So if you're looking to do that, um, check that down below. And if you're interested in joining us for the live stream, probably the best thing that you can do so that you're notified is be sure to just click the subscribe button below, hit the bell as well, so that when we do go live, you'll get a message right away that says, hey, those guys are live. Jump on the video and hop, you know, right into live. I hope this video was helpful. There should be a link down below that I will put a link to our website and I'll try to list out and take some pictures and everything of how we hooked it all up. I know this video isn't a step by step on how to build a battery. Uh, there are other ones out there. I just thought this video would be helpful so that you know exactly what I use because in my mind, the finding the, the how to, the step by step wasn't the hard part. It was finding like, what one did you use and what one did you have experience with and the stuff that I'm mentioning in this video I have good experience with and so and everything tested out well the cells were great the BMS's were great and so all of the stuff that I'm listing you can just know that I have used it now for over six months plus uh, and and it's all worked great so that's why I thought you would get some value in this video from if you have any questions for me drop them down below I'll do my best to help uh, I do insta connect stuff we help people connect we help give the tools so that you can be out exploring that's what our channel is all about we can explore we can get out there and explore and work and and do school and all that stuff at the same time and so that's what we help people do we help people stay connected but at the same time we mess with stuff like solar and everything we don't quite do it the normal way that everybody else does does, and so that's why I thought I'd share this with you today. If you're brand new, be sure to subscribe because we're going to do some cool live stream stuff, I hope, coming up here in Quartzsite. And if you're heading out to Quartzsite, uh, head down to the tent. We're going to be in the midway, kind of around the tent. We're going to try to set up some grass and some, some cool stuff to just hang out. Uh, we'd love to have you hang out with us. Oh, it's getting sunny. Thanks so much. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon. If you'd like to see the big 50 amp solar that you did not see before, click up here. That'll be right there. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you in Quartzsite. Thanks. Bye.